Hello everybody, it's Vanessa with Clemens Crafts and I have a sale video for you. Yes, and I'm actually recording this a day early. Woohoo! Okay, so first up, I have piano roll music. Ta-da! And this is the only one like that. But anyway, so piano rolls. I am asking $5 each or two for $9. There is a Christmas Rhapsody, Christmas 1990, Christmas Greetings, St. Elmo's Fire, Great Balls of Fire, that's awesome, um, and then the Exodus song is this one. Oh, I forgot my little numbers, didn't I? Hold on, let me grab them. Ah, uh, wait, they're letters, not numbers. Eee! Okay, so this is letter A. B, I have a doily and trim lot. Um, this I just kind of mushmashed together. So, this is a tiny little doily. And this one I believe it's Buttonberg Lace. Pearl, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> it's got a really nice linen center there. Another Buttonberg Lace, y'all. And this beauty. I love the color. This was one it was really hard for me not to keep. But I love this design. It's gorgeous. And then the trim that will come with it. This is a yard. It's scalloped, very simple. Here's this one. It's got a beautiful bottom to it. Now that's not quite a yard, but looks like a little over or maybe right at two feet. This eyelet, whoops, this eyelet scalloped trim that's definitely a yard there. We're close to it. Hold on, let me measure. Yes, a little over a yard is what that one is. <laughs> uh, and then I threw in this little scrap here, which, you know, you could use on tags or whatever. Um, I don't know what that is. A little scrap there. And then this is another scallop. And this is a, um, a yard right here and it's a wide trim there um so for all of that oh i covered up my <laughs> so for all of that i'm asking 15 for this and that is b right there oh c is a cute little piece of ephemera this is i'm a girl card is it she adorable and on the inside, it's got a little bit of age there. And there is the back of this. And um, for those of you that do not know, these are authentic vintage greeting cards. Um, and they are gaining popularity pretty quickly. Um, I am asking $2 for her cute little self. Boop. That is C. The little girl is C. This is an authentic vintage ad, okay? Actually, it's more like a greeting card. Um, but I've only found one other of these online. And when you open it, it's no joke to be sick, but it helps a lot if you can laugh off whatever you've got. So here are some jokes with warm wishes for you, and I hope that they'll bring a good chuckle or two. <laughs> and so they've got pages of cute little sayings here. The colors are really good and bright. Very cute. <laughs> so this little card right here, because it is so unique and there are not very many of these available, I am asking $8 for D and Really, not a lot of people are going to be interested in this, and I realize that, unless you're a collector, but I just wanted to put it out there. <laughs> okay, 
So these I have brought out before. They are two Bakelite buttons and two coat buttons. Um, they are from the 1950s. Here they are. And I will go ahead and unwrap these. And I did confirm that two of these are Bakelite with the hot water test. I did the other two, but I really couldn't tell on the other two. It's possible that these little windmills are also, but I wasn't sure. But these two here, these two large black ones, those are definitely Bakelite. And they are so cool. And I love them so much. These little beauties, um, the Bakelite buttons are going to be, I've lowered them to 10 for anyone that wants all four of those. I'm asking $10, that is E. I have a school photo and a graduate class. Um, a lot of you have probably seen these when you are out um, perusing eBay and Etsy. This is in frame now. Uh, this is a beautiful photo though. And it actually came in a lot of family photos of this fella here in the center. Um, so for this large photo, and this, isn't it cute? I love this picture. It is so cute. Um, but it is a classroom, and there you have your, your supervising nun. And look at the little girl's skirt, the little plaid, and look, all of them in their little skirts, sitting so cute. Um, but this is the chalkboard that goes all the way around the room. Look at that. So cool. I love this picture. But for both of those, uh, the two and, um, the school photo and of the men, I'm asking $10 for both of these. So that's $5 each. And that is F. Okay, so for G... I have two antique book covers. This red one measures nine and a half by seven and three quarters. And then this black one measures ten and a half by six and a half. Here is the inside. Now these do not have spines. Again, this is from way early when I first started breaking down. Um, book covers and ledgers. So that one has a nice finish on it there. Okay. And then here is the red one. And it's got some discoloration here. And here is the back of that one. And it definitely got crittered right here. As you can see, the little tooth marks. Look at that little tooth marks on this book. So for both of these covers right here, I'm asking $8 for both of these. And that is G. Clear off the schmutz of my table here. For H, I have a larger grungy antique ledger cover. Um, this one measures 13 by eight. And here is the back. Very grungy. And here is the inside cover. And it does have some math figures right there in the corner. And then this has got some of the leather suede stuff here. So for this antique ledger cover, I am asking $8 for H. It's going to make somebody a really awesome awesome covers. <laughs> okay, now let me take a break and I'll be back with more. Hi, no. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> it's later in the day and we just got back from riding. I had so much fun. Okay, so letter I. Whoops, I turned my page. <laughs> letter I 
is this cute little vintage 1920s Marabou, Marabou, who knows? Uh, Marabou antiseptic toilet soap box. And it is so cute. This soap is scientifically made of the best materials obtainable. The perfume lasts to the end of each cake. Isn't that cute? It would help me if I would keep that in frame. That is so cute. Lincoln Chemical Works in Chicago. So it has that little sticker on there. And I am asking $4 for this little bug. So that is I... And then J is another linen lot that I have right here. It is, um, I'm going to try to stack these over here. Okay, so J is another linen lot. And it has this doily here. And this has a very soft center there. It has this beautiful here and it has that front there this is so pretty I know it would be absolutely perfect for the bottom half of a cover and then this is four little doilies made into a type of hanky here it's got very thick fabric here and the gorgeous little flowers and it is handmade you see the endings here where she had stopped and there's the center right there and so for this little um, linen lot here I am asking nine dollars for those three pieces and that is J. Very cool. For K, I have a vintage magic lantern um, glass slide here. And that is uh, Jesus. And it measures four by three and a quarter. And I know a lot of you like to do mixed media. That is glass there has the metal sides. There's the reverse side here. Lots of possibilities with this one. Or of course you could keep it as is. So for K, I'm asking $10 for that. That is K. L. Here is L. <laughs> L is a 20 piece red rose dyed, uh, 24 pound paper. It has three envelopes, two glassine bags, one square paper doily, and 22 and a half inches by three and a half width. Um, rose dyed lace here. And there's that. Here are the two rose um, glassine envelopes. Again, I have not tried to open these, but there's not a lot of sugar at all in rose, so with some gentle work, you may be able to get those open. Uh, I didn't want to tear them make great texture and here's the three rose dot envelopes and the square doily here and then the 20 piece of rose dot paper here and again this is one of those that I had made at the beginning of the season I love this piece look at that it's so pretty. Um, but there's 20 pieces, and it is 24-pound paper. Look at that. So cool. Um, and so for this one, I am asking 10 
Nope, so sorry. $16. I was looking at the next thing. So this is uh, $16 for the 20 pack of paper, the doily, three envelopes, two rose dye glassine bags, and the lace. And that is L. Um, and again, it is 16. And the last thing, <laughs> y'all are like, yay! Okay, the last thing I have is a 25 piece, where did I put it? Oh, over here. A 25 piece, um, this is end papers, just end papers. And it's a pack here. And some of them are folios with very minimal writing. That one has, so you can see the, there's some kind of a satin finish to that one. And this is rag paper here. Some of them are folios. Some are not. That's thin paper. Um, this does have fringe on it right there. That's thin paper. This is a very thick. Another thick piece. Another thick piece. This is very thin. and Not thin, but a little brittle here around the sides. It has one word, autumn. This piece um, does have some math on it. Very soft. That's a single piece. It's got some light purple marbling, it looks like, in there. That's a folio there. And then these are <laughs> ear sure what that's about. This is a nice thick piece. That's a very sturdy piece here. And so for M, it's 25 pages of M paper. I'm asking $10. And that is all, you guys. And Again, if you are interested in any of these items, please email me at vanessa at .com. Um, That gives me a chance to uh, check everyone, like, and be fair as far as timing. Um, if you leave a comment, I may not see it in time. So if you email me, it allows it to be timed. And that way I can be sure, you know, whoever asked for it first gets that item. Um, but of course, you're welcome to comment below <laughs> on my video. I'm not saying not do that. But um, anyway, I really appreciate everybody's support. And I will have more goodies next Friday. Thank you so much for everything. Bye.